Okay guys, we're back. Uh, I've switched over to my wife's machine. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the NVIDIA control panel settings that you should be running. Um, even on the most entry level cards, um, you won't get too much slowdown at all and it will make your gaming experience way better because everything will just look way better. Um, I always put the uh, ambient occlusion to the highest quality um, because ambient occlusion really doesn't cost that much really depending on the game that you play anymore especially the get the cards uh, on the video cards from both camps AMD and Nvidia that's been released within the last two to three years um, most of the games that come out within the past two or three years they they've optimized that setting really well and you can also uh, mess with this within the game settings so always put it to, to the highest quality as possible uh, anisotropic um, you should always be running this at 16 by never run it at anything less um, there are some games like dirt 3 that don't support a native anisotropic filtering set and you can force it in the game and make the game look way better you will get less uh, uh, frames per second on the higher end but in that game um, even the most entry level cards are doing like <laughs> 45 to, to 60 plus it just all depends um, you should always be running this at 16 by never set this any lower you the frame per second hit in games is about two frames at the most is about one and a half so there's no reason that you shouldn't be running this in every single game um, FXAA I don't use it is the most terrible um, ugliest looking f uh, form of any alias in this shader based don't ever I don't ever use it personally I hate it if the game only has this option, I'll just run without it. I hate it that much. Doesn't cost that much to use, but it just looks terrible. It really, it really blurs your textures in games, um, as anti-aliasing does in most games anyway. Um, gamma, I leave that to on. Anti-aliasing mode, always leave this to the uh, app application-controlled one. Um, there there are situations where you want to do an enhanced thing like if you're running an SLI setup but that's a video for something else and you can actually set this up to make your games look even better and you know because you have the power to run if you're running dual GPUs but most people won't you're all gamers on budget so this is the reason why you're watching my videos um, set this up for the anti alias and transparency uh, like I said in my previous video, I don't like using anti aliasing, but if I have to, because some games force you, like Dirt 3, um, because the, the aliasing is just so jaggy, um, I always like it to be to the best. And I never go over um, MSA A4. I never go over it. I'll, I'll normally use it at 2 or 4 at the most, and this way it'll make my uh, the application look the best. It'll take out the jaggies the most. Um, always leave the uh, CUDA. GPUs to all uh, maximum pre rendered frames. I'll leave this to the default settings. Um, this setting here, the multi display mixed GPU acceleration for single GPUs, is probably going to be um, this will give you the most frames in games if you're using an NVIDIA card. If you don't believe me, try it. Do you, do you, some, t do you some tests, benchmark everything that you have. Um, and make sure you write down if you keep track if you just set this up to compatibility mode okay it'll it'll give you the most frames in games um, especially when you're doing rendering um, power management um, I always put mine to maximum you don't this really doesn't have too much impact on your gaming performance it's it's a, just a personal thing for me I, you know I just want to make sure that my cards always running it the, the maximum power usage that it can I don't ever want it, you know, losing and dropping frames. So it might not even affect that that much. It's just a personal thing. But this is very important here. The uh, texture filtering. You want this to set to clamp because if it's not clamped, you won't get really good visuals. Um, if you set it to allow, it actually runs the the horizontal. Um, drawing of 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 your your textures um, it'll actually go over and you can lose frames that way so set this to clamp 
and it it, it also goes along with um, like using VSync in games that's run you know it's you know 50 plus frames per second you should always have your VSync on um, texture filtering this is the biggest one like I told you in the uh, AMD video that I did you want this set up to be high quality not quality high quality because that is the actual highest filtering that you can get and this is the one that makes your games look beautiful um, so set that to high you always want that to high um, you, you really don't get that much uh, performance loss either I always keep triple uh, uh, or texture filtering for trilinear optimization I always keep that on because um, some games need it I keep this right here on auto because some games need it depending on if you play like a, a, a lot of different games um, some older games will need this and some won't but uh, as long as you set it to auto um, the game um, will know what to do with it so triple buffering always keep that on because I use VSync and it goes right along with VSync because there are a lot of games that run less than 60 frames per second and I want to get all I can, all the frames I can out of those games so um, and VSync uh, which you guys already know so there you go there you have it um, also too you want to make sure that um, if you are using an NVIDIA card you come over here to the configuration configure surround and physics there will be two you have CPU and uh, auto and you have uh, whatever your card is put that to whatever your card is because you do want your physics running at the at the best it can if you run if you're playing a game that has physics in it another setting I did not show I probably should have showed in the AMD AMD video is always go in here and I set my digital vibrance as you can as you can see it that'll make my see what it does it comes in at 50 always sets this set this to 100 makes my game look makes the colors pop makes my games look really really awesome when I'm playing them so and it doesn't cost any frames per second at all so you should be using that and there you go guys um, so there you have it for your AMD side thanks for listening thanks for watching